Hi, welcome to another video. So, there are some updates given by DeepSeek, and I wanted to talk about them. And there is also now a rumored timeline for DeepSeek R2. Anyway, they are currently running their open source week, where every day for the week, they are open sourcing some cool stuff that they have developed. So far, they have open sourced three repos. The first one, was the Flash MLA, which is a decoding kernel optimized for GPUs, making the output generation process faster, especially on NVIDIA's Hopper architecture. It helps AI models, like those generating text, run more efficiently. This is quite cool, and this is one of the things that they are using, which made their inference super fast when they launched it, which is actually quite awesome to see. After that, they launched DPP, which is an EP communication library for MOE model training and inference. It's a communication library for mixture of experts models, like the V3 and R1 model, that ensures different parts of these complex architectures work together smoothly during training and use. After that, they open-sourced DeepGem, which is a library that handles matrix multiplications using a lower precision format, or FP8, reducing memory use and speeding up computations for training and running LLMs, which is also a great one to see. The Flash MLA also doesn't rely on CUDA and is actually written from mostly scratch using PTX for fine-grained control, which is actually quite cool to see. Open sourcing these things generally means that you'll start seeing them getting implemented in things like Olama, VLLM, and others, which means that you'll see better performance on the same stuff you're using, which is actually really important to do. Now, apart from this, there are some new rumors and reports floating around that DeepSeek's R2 model is coming very soon. So, Reuters has reported that DeepSeek is likely to release next-generation R2 model before May. They had planned to release R2 in early May, but now want it out as early as possible. The company says it hopes the new model will produce better coding and be able to reason in languages beyond English. So, this is quite good to see, because we will see a really good contender to models like 3.7 Sonnet and more, and it will be open source, which will be quite amazing to see. I don't think that it will be called DeepSeek R2, though. I think that we'll get DeepSeek V3.5 and R1.5. Or maybe we get these two models before R2 very soon, and then we get the other ones. They recently launched VL2 and Janus as well. So, we can also see vision and image generation capabilities in it as well. So, that's quite good. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.